Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Monday, June 12th. As you are watching this, the youth are probably waking up for the first time in Nashville, getting ready to go out and work. Today they're going to be doing some demolition work at Concordia Lutheran Church in downtown Nashville. We get to break stuff. It's going to be a good day. But today, you see, our overarching theme for the week is God's grace is awesome. But we break down each day to a separate theme to help us explore different aspects of our relationship with God. And with that God's grace is awesome overarching theme, our, our youth, who are children of children of the 80s, uh, really kind of went all in with taking pop cultural stuff from the 80s. So today our theme is Danger Zone. Uh, yes, it, it, it was a song in the original Top Gun movie, but as we look at it today, and we think about danger zone, we need to think about our sin and the danger zone that that pulls us into. Let's start with a reading from Psalm 51, just a, a couple verses from in there. And this is David writing, For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, Lord, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the sacred heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sin, and blot out my iniquity. And then something that we hear very frequently within our worship service. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. As long as we live on this broken earth, we are in the danger zone. We are in the danger zone because we are susceptible to the attacks of Satan. Satan who tempts us daily, minute by minute, second by second, to rebel against God and against God's good and perfect will for us. You see, sin is that danger zone. Sin is that broken relationship, that lack of trust with God. Sin is that thinking that we can do better in taking care of ourselves than our Heavenly Father can. That danger zone is when we start to think that we can do it ourselves. Adam and Eve ventured into the danger zone when they had everything they could ever want. But they thought God was holding back. So they rebelled against his will. Our psalm today was written by David. And David had been made king of Israel. He had been given in victory in battle. He had been given great success. He, he had amassed a massive amount of wealth. God had provided for everything David could ever possibly need. But then David wanted. David wanted something that he went and got. And he sinned. He sinned with Bathsheba. As a result, David's life was never really the same. Even though he confessed his sins to God and God forgave him, there were still consequences of sin. And that's the danger zone we live in. You see, we're not called to live according to God's word so we can earn heaven. No, heaven is given to us as a free gift. When we believe in Jesus Christ, we are restored as God's children but we are still given God's laws so we don't get broken even more by sin. God knows the damage sin does in the life of his people. And he knows that it's dangerous when we start messing with sin because sin has consequences. And when we go against God's will, it's not God punishing us, it's a world working the way it works. When we rebel, things are going to get more broken. God calls us to a new life. He calls us out of that danger zone where Satan is steal, seeking to steal, kill, and devour. And he brings us into a new relationship with him. We're going to talk more about that new, new relationship tomorrow. But let's close today with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to rescue us from the danger zone. And we would ask you to work through the power of your Holy Spirit in our lives so that we seek to live as your children and we seek to avoid doing those things that steal our joy, that, that, that kill us, that drag us back into that slavery of sin. 
Lord, be with us and keep us free of the danger zone. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a great day. See you tomorrow morning.